Yeah, I, a quick one. Krakatoa, 1883, was a really big eruption. And some of you are probably watching live stream from La Palma. And I still think there's a huge potential there in La Palma. It's not Krakatau. So I just thought I tell you about like if you are watching the eruption in La Palma with sound and you probably have seen the videos from yesterday or two days ago where you have those really loud noise from the from the volcano there in La Palma. This is from Krakatau. Pressure wave. The pressure wave generated by the colossal third explosion radiated out from Krakatoa at 1086 kilometers per hour. The eruption is estimated to have reached 310 decibel, loud enough to be heard 5,000 kilometers, 3,100 miles away. It was so powerful that it ruptures, ruptured the eardrums of sailors 64 kilometers away on ships in a Sunda Strait and caused a spike of more than eight and a half, eight and a half kilopascals in pressure gorgeous 160 kilometers away attached to gasometers in the Batavia gas works sending them off the scale the pressure wave was recorded by barographs all over the world several barographs recorded the wave seven times over the course of five days four times with the wave traveling away from the volcano to its antipodal point and three times traveling back to the volcano Hence, the wave rounded the globe three and a half times. Ash was propelled to an estimated height of eight kilometers. The eruptions diminished rapidly after that point, and by the morning of 28 August, Krakatoa was silent. Small eruptions, mostly of mud, continued into October 1883. By then, less than 30% of the original island remained. So, Krakata, nature doesn't care about your needs, your opinion, your fears. It is what it is. We are just really, really small bystanders in the big cycle of cycles. Thanks. Bye.